Um, have you ever put a flammable inside of a super soaker and put a lighter in front of it? No, because you make a flamethrower. Oh. So you can't do that with a Nerf gun. So well, you can do that with a super soaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and arm myself with the most powerful super soaker. Hey YouTube, it's Jay Cut here with Aztec Knight. And we're about to bring you another one. Okay, so we did actually do a would you rather with Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon versus Nickelodeon. So yep. check that out. We'll put that at the end of the video when you you know at the end. But uh, this one is gonna be from either.com. So it's just random things. There's no category, there's nothing. It's just random. So we're gonna do up to 20 of them and he's gonna read one and I'm gonna read one and we'll go back and forth. Yeah. Right, go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. So the first one, would you rather eat Lay's potato chips or eat Pringles? Well, if it's for, if it's just in general, Pringles. Okay, if I'm eating it with a sandwich, I actually would rather regular old Lay's potato chips. Um, but if I'm just gonna eat them, I'm just eating them. Okay, okay, just that's Pringles. how you eat. Okay. Well, cause um, this is that's, there's there's liquid in there. Yeah, that's why I didn't go all the way. <laughs> well, which one do you feel? Um, and don't just say Pringles. Lay's we potato know how chips. Addicting they are. Lay's potato chips are very good, especially original and sour cream and onion. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm eating a um, sandwich, I don't. Eat however, sandwiches. Pringles has Pringles. actually twenty thousand of great. Flavors, <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna have to go with the eat I the think Pringles. Pringles makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, sixty-eight percent said the same thing. Nice. All right. Okay. Would you rather only talk in third person, mm -hmm. or never be able to call someone by name? Oh, dog. <laughs> in today's climate, I need to call you by name. Yeah, today's climate, <laughs> I'm gonna need to call people by name. Robert, these pro these I wouldn't pronouns. be able to do that. <laughs> I'll have to be like camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> but then only talking third person, it's like. So Sean said, "That's." But names are important. Names so are we're gonna important. have to go ahead, especially and if it's like important third moment. Person. All right, talking third go person. Ahead. You do it. Boom. And wow, fifty-four percent. I think it's because it's it's kind of it's kind of close. It's kind of hard to decide. Yeah. What's right. so the next one? Number um, three. So would you rather drive a bright red smart car? Or be spanked by Rosie O'Donnell every morning. <laughs> Did we want to skip this one? Or no. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I guess kind of. This is a no-brainer. Uh, I'd rather get spanked by Rosie. By <laughs> <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> so. No, obviously. Do I really want to pay uh, uh, that much right, insurance right. for a red card? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to be. Yeah, seventy-three percent. They know what's up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Number four. Would you rather be eaten by a zombie or be burned by the stakes? We did just do this the other day, but you guys didn't see that. Uh, I didn't do this. Oh, oh, was that me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. As I mentioned in the movie moment, I don't want to go through the experience of going from human to zombie, but being burned alive is just not it. So I will take zombie. I'll I'll take being burned mm -mm. at the stink. At the stink. The thing is, burned when you, stink. When you um, if you're if it's a bite and then you turn into a zombie, it's one being eaten by zombies. You might not make it out. Oh. And then they're attacked. They're they're. I understand like being you. burned is like the greatest pain, but I don't think you want to be a zombie. The zombies are cognitive enough to bite you where it counts. 55% oh, they want zombies. to be the zombies. Yeah. I don't know. Not yeah. me. Mm -hmm. I don't want that kind of transition mm -hmm. in my life. Who really wants to turn into a zombie? I don't want that type of transition in my life. In my life. <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Would you rather know for sure who killed JFK or know for sure what happened to Amelia Earhart? Obviously, I would rather want to know what happened to Amelia Earhart. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Dang. Yeah. Now we know who didn't pay attention in school. Wow. The Bermuda Triangle. They're asking you about the Bermuda Triangle. Like when you fly into that triangle, what happens? Well, to obviously you? that's the one we need to pick because I don't even know who it is. So even if you found what? out who killed JFK. What does that matter? What is it? What are you gonna do with that information? It's pretty what? close. But it's actually almost fifty. Thanks. But I want to know what happened to Amelia. Well, Rob, 52%? Put that, Rob, when you do the, when you edit, put that family guy clip in here where it's like, What about Amelia? She saw everything. You leave her to me. Number six. Would you rather every movie you watch replace the lead role with Nicholas oh, Cage? Yes. 
<laughs> or every song you hear is performed by Nickelback. <laughs> Give me Nicolas Cage in any lead role. Yeah. Nicolas Cage is so that. great. I, I like Nicolas Cage. You know what I mean? Why they do Nicolas Cage like that? You yeah, yeah, 70%. So, also, you're not going to take away all the amazing music artists and give me Nickelback. Give me Nickelback. What the world? I want, One time I went to a 50 Cent concert featuring Nickelback. It only cost 45 cents. <laughs> Robert, don't laugh. You encourage him. That's the problem. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> the thing is that's not original by the way so I'm not even going to take credit for that that's okay but it's part of my dad joke uh, repertoire it's, it's, All right, it's let's in go. your list no, it's me or you it's oh, me you. go ahead alright if you were in a rough part of town would you rather arm yourself with the most powerful nerf guns or arm yourself with the most powerful super soakers okay so you're going to die no man what you do because yep. they are not helping you uh, super soaker here's why um, have you ever put a flammable inside of a super soaker and put a lighter in front of it? No, because... You make a flamethrower. Oh. So you can't do that with a Nerf gun. So well, you can do that with a super soaker. So I'm going to go ahead and that. arm myself with the most powerful super soaker. I... Okay. Okay. See, they... Maybe because... 47%. They but a Nerf gun looks more like a gun than a water gun does. So I don't know. Number eight? Yeah, you're you're every even. Oh, that's how you know things. Yeah, that's how I was keeping track. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't keeping track. Would you rather be sent into space without enough oxygen or be thrown naked into a pit of deadly scorpions? Well, so, to be fair, if you're thrown into a pit w naked with scorpions, there's no guarantee that they're either A, going to that's smack true. you, B, sting you, or C, even touch you. And how about E? You're on Earth, at least. <laughs> and it's not necessarily guaranteed that the scorpions are going to kill you. Yeah, because you can get stung by a scorpion and not actually die. I don't know how many. But if you're out here Elon Musking it without With, like, enough oxygen. And what's not enough? Then, is it like I got an hour left? I got one I minute? I mean, then you're certain to die going yeah, into space without oxygen. Yeah, let's take scorpion. They, people don't know nothing <laughs> about nothing. But 68% of people are like, no, send me no, up send there me with no space. oxygen. Yeah. You All ain't right. gonna make it. You're a genius. All right. You might make it here. And also, there's an avenue. There's, there's no critical thing. thinking out here. Number nine. All right, here we go. Would you rather put a toothpick in your toenail and kick the wall? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What? What's the second one? Would you rather put a toothpick in your toenail and kick the wall or have paper cuts all over your body and jump in a pool of lemon juice? What is happening? Who's <laughs> writing these? Give me the toothpick with the Wait, nail. Wait, what's the first? What's the second one? Have paper cuts all, all over, over your, your body. body and jump into a pool of lemon juice. No way. No way. I, I will give me the Did somebody. Cause I'm like, let's, ah. let's play a game. Like, who does this? Who thinks of this it stuff has in to their be the, room? The, the two, I bet I mean, a ten-year-old. I heard, but at least it's a one-moment thing. Cuts all over. Paper cuts hurt already. Little, even though they're little. Yeah. And you're gonna jump into a pool <laughs> of lemon juice. And then you gotta struggle out and of that. How much pool you want to bet? They picked the lemon juice. <laughs> yeah, fifty-seven percent picked the lemon juice. <laughs> what is wrong with people? I don't know. Y'all some weird people out here. Who oh, put these questions in here? Number ten. Number ten. Number ten. Would you rather have hair to the ground and never cut it again, okay, or fun. shave yourself bald every morning? Some people shave themselves bald every morning. What period. Disrespect to bald people. Okay, I, I don't mind going bald, but I wouldn't mind having really long hair. But then you can't cut it, so it's just growing. Yeah. And then I gotta deal with that, washing it and so, taming I mean, if it, was, it and... if it was mythical, like um, Rapunzel, I would say the hair, but it's, it's not, it's, cool, it's just it. long. And people have long hair all the time and complain but about my it. My hair's not gonna go down to the floor, it's just gonna... Right, it, it, first of <laughs> it all, will it's, eventually, it, but if my hair's down to the floor, how much out is it doing? Yeah, it's it makes no much. sense. Shave yourself and, out every morning. Yeah. Some people literally so actually do all, is that not even... Wow. wow, it's literally 50 50. It's 50 50, but I shaved myself bald because I'm a dad. Yeah, yeah why not? Oh, your turn. If your parents had to give you one punishment, would you rather live without your phone or live without your computer, iPod, and clean clothes? So, um, your computer is a phone. So I will take the computer. Even though your phone is a computer, ain't the other way around for me. Yeah. Plus, I work with my computer and my iPad, and I would like to have clean. Why do you gotta take all of it away? <laughs> I, I think like a 10-year-old posed this question. But what they're not taking into consideration is that 
your phone shouldn't be able to do all those things that your computer, Hello? iPod, and your clean clothes. It's supposed do. to call people. <laughs> it's supposed to only. It's call not people. supposed to give me you, the weather. You know, actually, naturally, your computer goes on Instagram. Naturally, your computer goes on Facebook because your phone can't play a DVD. Yeah. Ooh, boom. Mm. Got him. Well, yeah. Neither can my. <laughs> neither can any computers anymore. Uh, uh, what's a DVD? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go with the live without the phone, right? Because that makes live more sense. Phone, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Eighty-five oh, percent of people are smart enough to They're know. They're like that. obviously. All right, go ahead. What's my turn? What are we? Twelve. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you were on the Starship Enterprise, would you rather work under Captain Kirk, Kirk or under Captain Picard? I don't even know any of this. <laughs> well, uh, this is Star Trek. Yeah. So okay, if I, I figured break it, out. it down, so to break it, I don't know either. So here's the thing. <laughs> We're nerds that don't like certain nerds. No, nah, my mom. My mom watched this. I'm talking about you. But that's I like him better because he's Professor. X. Oh, he, oh, oh, because he's yeah, yeah. Okay, let's pick him. Yeah, oh, they well, don't we, like were, him. we were wrong. Obviously, nobody we cares about. Wrong. <laughs> okay, well, thirty-four percent said you're wrong. Um, if you were a pirate, wait, what, okay, okay, this is this is number sixteen. No, no, this is thirteen. This is thirteen. I did it twelve. Yeah, yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. We can't count them. If you were a pirate, would you rather have a pet monkey or a talking parrot? Okay, here's the thing about it. So mm-hmm. instantly I thought about Latin. But, Me too. okay. That was my instant. Not gonna lie. Abu. So here's the thing a monkey is smarter, cuter, and cuter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a, but a parrot is smart. Not smart as a monkey, but it is smart and it can fly. Yeah. And if it's your pet, you can have it send things to people. And... It's not a carrier pigeon. You're right. <laughs> well, I want the monkey. Monkeys yeah. are cute. I'll take the monkey. Boom. 60%, 60%. said the monkey. Would you rather that's my be... Oh, uh, this okay. is... Oh, th- no. It's your turn. Go yeah, ahead. that's fine. No, go ahead. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. No. Uh, uh, number I'm not upset. 14. Right? Mm-hmm. Number 14. Would you rather be Alexander the Great in Greece or Genghis Khan, Mongolia? So... Hmm. Because... Okay. Genghis Khan is cooler like uniform where he's from oh, okay you're talking about the fashion yeah 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 okay, okay would... so my middle name is alexander i'm already great and i have grease in my hair so that's not really much of a new thing oh. so genghis khan <laughs> genghis khan and i have my id to prove it genghis khan i'm gonna have to go with that actually there's deeper reasons why i would have to go with genghis yes, khan yes yes so but i'm gonna go reasons. with I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> but we'll pick it for now. Woo! And, and we're, 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 we're the silent majority, majority, minority over yeah, here. 27%. 27%. All right. You're well, telling. let's go. Number uh, 15, right? Yes. Okay, number 15. Why can I count? Would you rather walk barefoot in a Lego factory or walk barefoot on burning hot coals? I think we have They worded this question completely wrong because I'm pretty sure the Lego factory is pretty clean on the floor and yes. the Legos are on the conveyor yes, belt. And I'm not going to walk on the conveyor belt. <laughs> So let's just go to the Lego factory instead of burning my feet on some hot coals. Maybe well, next you time. Hit the, you hit that on the nail because they sure did work. Since they worded it wrong. So yeah, yeah, no. That's the one. All right. So yeah, we're 80%. Go. And I think they understood too. Like, yeah. oh, what you said was. <laughs> All right. Number 16. Would you rather have squirrels for hands or have <laughs> guinea pigs for feet? Why? <laughs> I, I would rather have my hands. I want to be able to do anything I need to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah, no, guinea pig for feet. Yeah, we'll for sure. That. Yeah, 57%. 57%. It's still kind of close to me, but I agree. Okay. All right, right, would you rather number be... Number which one? We don't even know oh, who you are. Hey, number, number 17. Would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? <sighs> so the thing is, a vampire, you can only be in the night... So you missed not out a all Twilight you. vampire. We're not even doing that. <laughs> we're not even going to bring up trash. So we're that. talking underworld vampire. We're talking about any other movie besides, besides Twilight. Twilight. A werewolf. It's kind of cool. But no, okay, if I can control. All right, how about this? If I can control Assuming it, you can control. I'll probably pick uh, Okay, it. assuming you could daywalk and you can control. Oh, well, then I want to be a vampire then, if I can daywalk. Period. Because then it don't matter. There's no, there's, well, no, you have to drink blood. Dang, I got to miss out all the good food. I would rather be a werewolf, so I, I, <laughs> I just, just so I could look back at the camera like Michael Jackson. Robert, which one do you like? Use? <laughs> <laughs> the thriller. There you go. Except the Twilight werewolves like Journey Shepherd. So we're, we're werewolf. 
Oh, 51 percent. See, just, just, just a slight little bit. Margin. Just a little bit. Yeah. Our number 18. Would you rather actually have to laugh out loud every time you type LOL, ha ha, or always have to replace the face of any emojicon you use? We did this one before. We did this one before. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'd say I actually do laugh out loud when I said. type LOL. So, so that I, wouldn't be a much of a deviation for so me because I don't type it. And if I do type it, it's because I actually laugh. So I have mixed I would go about with that. it. Okay. If I, sometimes I type it because I laugh. Sometimes I'm laughing in my soul. Okay. <laughs> so maybe outwardly I'm just like, mm -hmm. but then I put LOL. But why don't you put LIS laughing in soul or something? Because nobody knows what that is. Well, make it a thing. <laughs> LOL wasn't a thing mm -hmm. until they made it a thing. Yeah. Because you can't do oh, like face. a bomb emoji. Like, oh, what are you going to do? I'm going with that one. Yeah, so 52%, 52 said they laugh out loud when... This is what, number uh, 19. 19. Ooh, get to the end. All right, would you rather... This is number 19. Would you rather win the World Series or win the Super Bowl? You know, you would think this is one that was really easy because the Super Bowl is the biggest event in sports. Period. Isn't the World Series the World uh, Series is baseball? Well, I lived in Philly when they when they when won, the when Eagles won. won the Super Bowl, and I lived in Philly when the the Phillies won the World Series. It was a little bit calmer when the World when Series the, won. No, it was no? so epic when the Phillies won. No, the I mean World I'm talking Series. about when they won the World Series. I don't know. It was more epic to me. To me, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, it was annoying. It was a little annoying. But when the Phillies won the World Series, it was great. It was, it was great. wonderful. Also, Barack Obama <laughs> became president a few days later. Um. I agree, because when I think of the memory of the time, World Series. I'm Only 41% said World Series, because, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl it's football. But the World Series, though. Yeah. The World Series. So, okay, number 20. Number 20. Would you rather have a lisp or have a lazy eye? Okay. Well, I think I have a lazy eye. I think eye. I already have a little bit of a lazy <laughs> You got the lazy eye. I got the lazy eye. <laughs> I, I think I have a lazy eye, so. Um, uh, I don't want the lazy eye. Uh, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I like my voice, so I I, I can't I'd say my keep, voice. I'd rather keep my my voice. But I like my eyeballs. Uh, okay, so that was our number ten. What did I say? <laughs> that was number twenty. Yeah. We'll have more coming soon. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you push the notification button. Okay. Which ones would you have done? You know, leave that in the comment section too. We want to know. That's all you got to do. Know if we are crazy or if we're on the same page. That's all you got to do. What are you doing? I know you're not about to leave without liking or sharing or something. I know you see that red button. You better subscribe to my channel. See you soon.